Good Monday morning and we take a look at Tropical Storm Elsa, which right now is bearing down on the southern coast of Cuba. And as we look at the latest 5 a.m. advisory in from the National Hurricane Center, Elsa is located about 220 miles southeast of Havana, Cuba. Max has seen winds of 65 miles an hour moving northwest at 14 miles an hour and forecast to continue moving in that general direction. So as we head throughout the day today, Elsa is expected to move across Cuba. Cuba and some of the mountainous terrain here. So as we head into later today and tonight, we are seeing the potential for tropical storm conditions here across the island and hence the reason for uh, the hurricane watch as well as a tropical storm warning and a tropical storm watch for Cuba. Uh, we'll take a closer look at the advisories issued for our area coming up, but putting that forecast cone in motion, you'll notice that yes, although the center of Elsa is forecast to move just to the west or near Key West. Tropical storm conditions still will be expected here across the Keys, and we may even see some tropical storm force gusts through parts of Miami-Dade and Broward County because, remember, the impacts extend well out and away from the center. In addition to that, all the deep tropical moisture, we're going to be on the east side, the dirty side of the system. So we still are going to see the potential for some scattered storms and gusty winds in Miami-Dade and Broward as also continues to move up the eastern Gulf of Mexico and could be making them fall here somewhere along the central west coast of Florida before it moves across North Florida, potentially the Big Bend, and then it starts to turn more northeast and rides up the southeast coast. And then, of course, everyone in Georgia and the Carolinas keeping a close eye on Elsa. Tropical storm watch is in effect for the upper keys and then the middle keys under a tropical storm warning as well as the dry tortugas. And then up and down the west coast of Florida, we now have some tropical storm watches and warnings in effect. So here are the wind speed probabilities, and this gives you an idea where the highest chance for tropical storm conditions and winds will be possible. And for now, it's going to be late, late tonight into tomorrow morning for Key West. We're seeing that at a 56% chance. And then even as we head into tomorrow morning, that chance continues to increase. So that means that the gusts will continue to increase as we head throughout the day tomorrow before Elsa finally moves up the West Coast and along the eastern Gulf of Mexico. But in terms of the chances for us here in Miami, Fort Lauderdale of, of tropical storm force winds is only 10, 11 percent. And that's the reason why those tropical storm watches and warnings are in place for the Keys. And this is a time of arrival for the tropical storm winds late tonight, as I mentioned, overnight and through tomorrow morning, early afternoon before Elsa continues to ride up northward and northeast. 